Okay, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here, and today I'm going to disassemble or attempt to disassemble my ViewSonic G tablet. Uh, unfortunately, my animals knocked it off of the table one day when I had it plugged up and uh, made a made the connector inside here just a little bit rough and it's hard to get it to charge now so I'm going to see if I can take it apart I haven't uh, had it apart before but uh, or seen anything about it but I believe that most cases if you pop these little rubber feet off they will show up and they do show a um, a little screw underneath so what we're going to do is take these four feet off and save them back later for later because we want to put them back. They're kind of sticky. By the way, I have uh, have the uh, carbon fiber cover on mine. That's the reason the, the word Busonic is not showing like it would on a standard tablet. All right, so we've got four screws showing. And so now a little mini Phillips screwdriver. And we'll take those loose. And save them for later. Now that carbon fiber goes around the edge, and I'm not sure if it splits there or if it's going to split on an edge where I have the fiber. I may have to pull the fiber off in order to get the two parts separated. All right, we'll find out now. Okay. So get the glue off my finger. Okay. And let's see if we can separate this thing. It really looks like it's probably going to separate at the wrong place. Um, yeah, I can see underneath the fiber there, there's a little slot. That's where it's going to separate. So I'm going to have to take the fiber off. Okay, so, so be it. I don't know if it'll go back on or not, but uh, if it does, okay, if it doesn't, it won't be a big deal. Just need to take the edge off, I assume. Shouldn't need to take the back off. This is a Skinomi product. It came with the Skinomi screen protector and with this outside protector all for I think it was nineteen dollars or something like that <coughs> and if you don't have it of course you won't have this problem didn't have it, it's entirely possible that that little fall to the, to my floor would have been sufficient to break it. Okay, so there's a little bit of a snap here evidently. It doesn't want to come apart just real easily. But I'm assuming that there's, whoops. That's not the way you do it. Okay. Okay, so we haven't got the right snap yet. Did get it turned on though, I didn't mean to. Push the power button. By the way, if you uh, you should always have these devices turned off, and if you hold the power button long enough. It will turn off by itself almost any position that you have it in. Well, we're 
we're going to do it. It needs to be turned off, but uh, well. all right. Well, I'm going to turn it off, turn the camera off for a moment until I figure this out. And, uh, and I'll be back with you when I can show you how it works.